Hello everyone and welcome to another housing tips and ideas video with me Rosa. So this video will be the first one of a few I'm going to do showing off some building projects I've been working on in this house. This one showing off a stable that I've been working on as this house does not come with a stable like some other houses and like a Mayer Lake Lodge when I bought that house unfurnished it came with that structure which this house didn't come with when I bought it unfurnished so I had to improvise and make my own stable to house my horse and other mounts that I have up in this house but if you want to do something simple saving yourself using up your housing slots you can just use these uh, they're orcish orcish canopy shingled or the orcish shelter shingled both of these are craftable but if you can't craft them or don't have the recipes learnt yourself you can just buy these from other players in guild stores so yeah if you want to save your housing slots just place that down put your horse or other mount under there you got yourself kind of a shelter for your horse but yeah, for me, these are kind of, kind of ugly. At least that's what I think. It doesn't fit in with the style or design I have for this house, so I'm not going to use them. But if it fits in with your style of your house, you're welcome to use them. And I find they're not that high. You can barely jump under them, barely fit your horse under them. So yeah, if you want to use those, you're welcome to use those. But the stable that I made, stable area, is here. Got my guar on the rock. So yeah, this is the stable that I made. It's got my horse under there. You don't have to do it exactly this way, but I'm just showing off how the way I made my stable. So these are the red guard awnings, these ones. They're big red guard awning desert flames. I have some extras that I was, might use in this house. So yeah, you can use them, perfect to help shelter your horse in the stable. Got two of those there. If you want to do yours bigger, you can use more of those. Or you don't even have to use these and you just want to do, say, a square shack for your horse or other mount you can just do it like that they got place to sleep rest and eat if you want to do it like that so yeah uh, so here I originally had it set up like that but just for this video if you want to have it like an open stable concept you can have a continue it like that have it down like that but yeah this side I'll just take that back because I have an add-on that lets me save my house setups and I can load that so yeah I had it like that 
but as I showed you before, if you want to open stable concept, you can do it like that. So in the middle here, I have the one like that, just to separate. Because Gua's on the rock over there right now, but he'd sleep on this side. Just to separate the two. Um, and both of these, sorry, all these three, are the rough planks wide. And in the middle here, just as support beam, so it actually looks like a stable structure, I have some narrow beams, rough plank long ones, I've got three of those, one on the side there and another one on that side. Um, each of these planks, you can get from home goods furniture vendors I'll just show you quickly the easiest spot to get them from if you don't have any of the DLCs is in Grotwood at Red Fur Trading Post from the home goods vendor right there Uh, up here, because the wall's not high enough, I just put a plank, a long plank across there. Otherwise, it's open. You can leave it open like that if you want to. But just because it's near the wall, I did it like that. Uh, if you want to do like an open stable concept, like if you don't have want it against the wall just show you as an idea pretend those rocks aren't there for now so yeah, if you want to do like a big stable structure you could do something like this if you wanted to something like that but I know with the dragon bones DLC dungeon update coming soon that in the crown store they added some trellises and pergolas that you can get Hopefully they're not just crown store exclusives, but if they are, I probably won't get those. But if you want to, you could use those, because they're just one big structure, which would be perfect for a stable. So yeah, that's the stable that I made for this house. And I hope these ideas help you if you want to make your own stable, you can. But again, you don't have to, I'm just sharing what I made, which will hopefully help you guys with ideas in your house. I'll be doing more of these videos of building projects that I've been working on. If you have your own projects, feel free to let me know in the comments or your ideas. And yeah, I hope this idea helps you guys and thanks for watching.